Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Doris and I'll be sharing with you my November bullet journal setup today. So if you like these kinds of videos, stick around for a while and watch, give me a thumbs up, you can comment down below. You can also share this video and maybe, just maybe, also subscribe. For my cover pages, I'm just diving in with a crochet and knit theme. All I'm having is doodles around uh, knitting needles, yarn, stitch markers, tapestry needles, the whole shebang. If you do knit or crochet, you will understand this uh, terms far much better. But yeah, I thought this was a really cool theme, especially because it's cold right now and that means it's sweater weather. I'm going to go ahead and color all my yarn and then on my right, I'll just have the month title like how is it November already it's almost the end of this decade almost the end of this year and that is amazing that this year has just gone so fast I set up my monthly overview page or spread in a grid across two pages and the boxes here are just going to be seven by eight dot spaces. I like that it is bigger and there's more space to write in. Then I have the word November across the side and I hope to achieve something clever with this. I hope it really works. And also I love the fact that I changed up the letter O with a ball of yarn. I think it gives it a bit of aesthetic. Then place the days of the week and then place all the dates of the week. Yeah. Then to keep up with the theme, I'll add a few doodles around uh, the items, the crochet items and neat items. Then color all my yarn balls and place color on the dates. And I thought uh, this is going to give my monthly a bit of color unlike my previous uh, bullet journal setup. I'll link it on the top right corner of your screen if you want to check that out. And did I mention what I'm using? By the way, I'm just using a big sharp pointed black pen and some Pelican coloring pencils. Then cut off my right side of the page nine dot spaces of paper to achieve that look. And voila, I have the main month title in view as I work on my habit tracker. I'm loving the the title for this page. It's my first time trying out that sort of lettering and heading. So I'm pretty happy about that. And another thing that I've been loving is using individual trackers and that's why it has been great and I think I'll do this for a while now. Um, November starts on a Friday, then ends on a Saturday and it is five weeks each so it's pretty easy to come up with that. Then I'm going to have my, you know, personal habits that I want to build on and then my two projects that I want to work on and that's how I'm going to do that. Then for my mood tracker, of course, I'm going to start off with a header at the top and this header is going to be similar to my habit tracker. Then I'll have a cascade of crochet and knit uh, stuff doodles for each day that I will place in a day or a date. Yes, I'll place in a date for each um, and then I will be coloring them as November as we go through November and according to my legend at the bottom. Then on the right, I'm also going to cut the nine dot spaces piece of paper and I'll be doing this for each and every page that ends up on my right in order to achieve the look that I'm looking for to have the November uh, title in place. Next is my gratitude log and brain dump pages. I like to keep them pretty simple. So the only thing that I'll have is a cool header for each page. And of course on my brain dump side, I'll have to cut out 
the nine dot spaces piece of paper and that's done I'd be a scatter brain without my meal plan spread so yeah I have one every time and this is spread across the four weeks that are available in November and yeah that's it I decided to have my one and only quote page and I found this on Pinterest and I thought it's really clever although I could add a rainy day to this mix and then it will be perfect um, so then I'll cut out the dot nine spaces after I've done this but this time I'm going to leave out a small chunk at the top and this will act like a tab so yeah my first quote page and I'm loving it Finally, I'm setting up the first weekly spread for the month of November. Remember the spot I left at the top, that's where I'll write in the week number, we had 45. Then write in all my days and dates, adding in a little bit of doodles to keep up with the theme. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out a piece on the right, leaving out a space for the next week's tab, only a little bit lower. And then I'm going to go ahead and color all my doodles. And after that, go ahead and pitch my numbers. Remember, I had cut them all out, so I have to do that. And finally, update my index. And after I've done this, I am done, done, and done. Here's the final flip through. I hope you enjoyed setting up November with me. Please do all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you'd like and enjoy November. Until next time, bisous, bye.